So this is the mower that's been giving me a hard time for the last 24 hours. It's a 23 horsepower, 50 inch cut, 2001. As you can see, it has the 23 horsepower still on it. And when I got it, it wouldn't run at all. I think. And sure, and then once I got it to run, it wouldn't idle. It would idle about half throttle and then it would die. I just want to show you guys something. This is a V-twin, V-twin, not an opposed twin, but a V-twin Briggs & Stratton engine. It has two separate magneto coils. Now, the way that you kill one of these coils, just like any other one of Briggs, most Briggs Stratton engines, is you short out half of the coil. This connector right here. See that connector? Okay. But these two coils are actually hooked together. You'll see there's got a you can plug one in. There's a ground on this one and a ground on this one. They're identical. I'm just going to show you this right real quick and then we'll go to the actual one finished product. This, to kill both coils, it shorts itself out on any, on actually through your switch, and it kills both coils. But, if you unhook this, and these, one of these, are, one of these diodes is going bad, actually these two will be connected together, and they can short each other out. And I thought that my problem was carburation. So was my, and I cleaned the carburetor, did all sorts of things. I, I, I checked the power before the uh, sport, spark before I started anything, and I had spark on both sides. But the spark would go away. You'd think you had the problem fixed by working on something else, and then the spark would go away, and you'd be running on one cylinder for a while. Sometimes you run on one side, sometimes you run on the other. I changed out the coil. I put this used coil on there for a while and it did the same thing. That's when I started tracing the wire thinking that it was a switch or something and when I realized how it worked. So, so just let that be a help to you. One other problem it had when I first started working on it was the valves were out of adjustment. It would barely turn over. I'd have to turn it with my hand a little bit to get it over the compression stroke and then it would go. And uh, 
charging the battery didn't do it so I went ahead and adjusted the valves I said adjusted them all to four thousandths exhaust and in pitch and I did it I would I would turn it until like the intake was all the way open in other words pushing open and then I would adjust the exhaust and then then I'd turn it around till the exhaust was all the way open and adjust the intake that's the only way I could get it to turn over every time nice and easy and still run right so there you go all because of that diode I did a whole lot of troubleshooting before I found it. 